Welcome back to Score Golf TV. Okay, folks, I've got something really, really cool for you right now. I am in a TaylorMade performance lab, and this is where TaylorMade fits their clients, and I mean fits them to a T. They use matte technology. What's that? Well, it's kind of like being in a video game. Let's show you. The Technology Report, a look at the science, research, and development of the game. All right, Cameron, you're the guy who's going to have the, I don't know what to call it, pleasure of, uh, of seeing my sure. swing and fitting me and trying to get me into some new clubs here. Um, this is an amazing place, this uh, Taylor Made Performance Lab. This is so many, so much high-tech gear here, so many things here. Uh, tell me about it. Well, really, you know, Taylor Made Performance Labs are designed to help all golfers. I mean, they're, they're positioned almost for, for tour players, juniors, club champs, but also like the regular guy that plays on Saturday mornings and you know, has a hard time breaking 90 or 100. Um, really what we do here is to help all golfers get down to that one common denominator of what club's going to work best for them, what's going to allow them to play their best golf, and of the entire range that TaylorMade makes, it's, it's massive, so you know, a lot of uh, the golfers out there find that they need a bit of help to isolate what specs are perfect for them. That's what we use all this great equipment for. So uh, right now, I'm being uh, dressed up in the stuff that, uh, this is kind of reminds me of when I was on house arrest. <laughs> Very similar thing. These are reflective markers, and uh, this is what the math system uses to uh, to track my swing. Correct? Correct. Yeah. These uh, reflective markers are, are picked up by the infrared cameras, and that builds a 3D model. Um, really, the the math system is designed to take information from six very high-speed cameras, proprietary technology that allows us to see exactly the motion of all of these key points. Wow. The biomechanical engineers have isolated these specific locations that we'll we'll be mapping today. And that allows us to track not only what your body does, but again, when we give you a golf club, it's also marked as well. So again, the computer is able to track exactly what this club does, and then from there it builds a profile of exactly how you swing. So what's actually going to happen here? Well, what happens is as, as you're hitting shots, we're filming you from six different angles. That triangulates into a 360 degree look, and we can rotate that view from all angles. So you can look at me from upside down? Upside down, top down, down the line face on behind you from the target, which normally you wouldn't want to put a camera out there. <laughs> um, so really we can, we can look at your swing from all angles. That really helps our fitters um, to isolate what it is that happens in your swing and where we should be looking to improve your equipment. The bad news is I think from any angle, it doesn't look all that good to be honest with you right now, but uh, let's have a look here and uh, you can tell me what, uh, sure. what you see. All right, Cam, I've gone through the uh, rigmarole here. I've taken yeah. all the stuff off. You've got some numbers on the yeah. screen here. Uh, how bad is it? It's actually pretty good. You're pretty consistent. You know, for a lot of golfers, they come in here thinking that, oh man, I'm unfittable. I, I'm not a very consistent player. But what we usually see is the fact that the numbers don't lie. Um, you know, you move at the same path, the same face angle, same angle of attack. Your speeds are consistent. Your impact location, location is consistent. Your ball speed's the same. Really, what we've got to do is isolate how we can get the ball to travel a little bit further for you. And you know, looking at your numbers, we saw that you know your launch angle is maybe a little bit low. So we'd use something like an R1 driver and add a little bit of loft, get the right shaft built in, and isolate all the different conditions with you know face angle, dial, and shot shape weights to, to hone in on what's going to get you the longest. I mean, that's the beautiful thing about this driver, isn't it? You can really tune it to anything. It's really tunable, and you know, and like we said before, for a golfer that's still sort of working on his swing a little bit, they can actually get this driver and work through their swing change that they've got some, some work that they're doing with their local PGA professional. Um, you can almost go and set the driver up backwards and make it harder to hit. It'll actually <laughs> help you to swing it better sometimes. So it's, uh, it's a very versatile club. We even went through the putting. I mean, you even have a putting fitting thing here as well. Correct, and I think that's almost one of the, I hate to say, like sort of the, the, the sleeper categories when we, when we talk about fitting. Um, you, half your shots are on the putting green usually. So more than half for me, but. <laughs> we, we spend a lot of time on the putter here and, and I think we do a really great job of being able to figure out not just what putter to use, but how to set it up, what length, what lie angle, what loft. A lot of people don't even know that there's loft on the putter and it really plays a big role into how well the ball comes off the face. Um, and then from there, obviously, head shapes, face balances, all kinds of different variables that we can help the golfer to figure out what's best for their game. Pretty cool. All right, I'm looking forward to my new set of clubs. Great. This is going to be uh, this, is, this is one of the good parts of my job, folks. It's really pretty neat to go through here. Thanks a lot. Hey, thank you.